are back. Raw Status TV, Raw Status IG, Status underscore Raw on Twitter, RawStatus.com. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, and comment. So we're going to talk about, let me adjust the screen a little bit. We're going to talk about, of course, once again, Shrimp Baseless, Skip Bayless. Once again, trying to minimize mitigate what the Los Angeles Lakers accomplished this year. They keep on promoting this guy here, Kawhi Leonard, as if he's on the level of LeBron James, which I've been saying ever since they tried to promote him from that fluke win, the San Antonio Spurs against the Miami Heat, that he is not on LeBron James level. He never was and never will be. Now, the Clippers got exposed this year in the bubble. I want you to listen to this fool Skip Bayless and the nonsense coming out of his mouth. Like I said before, before I start, LeBron James is a political issue. Um, I believe that Skip Bayless is a low-key white supremacist. I suspect that he's practicing white supremacy and racism. LeBron James is like a rock in the shoe of the white supremacist. He is the exact personality, the exact skin tone, the exact type of black man that they hate. Someone that is physically strong, dark-skinned, and self-determining let's take a listen here yes, that they took their pound of flesh out yes. of golden state and i got it because i have nothing but respect for montrez and lou and and pat bev because they got that dog in there okay and i love them That's let me pause this real quick now they've been saying that dog shit since the beginning of the season the clippers got some dogs they got some dogs i said it before and i'll say it again the Lakers, but apparently the Denver Nuggets as well, were the dog catchers. Now, they've won nothing significant of significance this year. People lauded them when they won the first game of the season. They're calling them the first game of the season champions. They won a meaningless game on Christmas Day, and everybody anointed them as the champions. Then they got their asses kicked in March by the Lakers, and again on the first game in the bubble, but... For some reason, people still pick them to win. I don't know why, but Montrez, Harold, Lou Williams, and Pat Beverly, they're not dogs. They're overrated bench players. Patrick Beverly is a D-League player. Montrez Harold is very nice offensively, but he can't defend a thing. The same goes for Lou Scrawny Williams. Lou is a small guy by NBA standards. He has a great jump shot. He can shoot the three, but he's just not that good. He's not what they say they are, but they hate LeBron so much that they're promoting this Clippers team and they have the world believing them. Let's keep going. This year, and I get it, that they're like, <clears throat> damn, we have to put up with it. Yeah, you do, because that's the deal that you signed on for. So early on... Making was, excuses. Doc was having to manage internal issues and dissension because... Kawhi wanted to live in his place, which is down near San Diego. Yeah. Well, help me out. Right. If you're going to fly out, of, I assume they fly to LAX, but I don't even right. know that. I assume they do. Assume they do if, if you're going to try to get to LAX from somewhere near San Diego, what's going to happen? You're going to be late. Well, unless you take a helicopter. Unless you take a helicopter. And for a while, I'm not going to wood for this, but, but he was supposedly taking the Kobe helicopter, what? right? Yes. So I don't know how that impacted. That's the only, that's the only way you can get to LA okay. from San Diego. I, I got it. So I don't know. If the passing of Kobe changed all that. Right. If he said, I got to drive now, and he right. started being late for right. flights. Yeah. Because if you drive from somewhere near San Diego, you're, you're just going to have, it's two hours. With easy. no traffic. Okay, two, got it. I with got traffic, it. is and, done. And, and the deal with the fiance, I got it. Where that's a stipulation that's part of the conditions yes. of your signing on yes. for this. Because he was in the most commanding position maybe any free agent's ever been in. The your catbird seat. Okay, that's the catbird seat. So I got it. So the point is that they had to fight through these issues earlier in the season. But what did Doc always say? The last two weeks before the pandemic hit, we were starting to take off. So once again, he's making excuses. I'm going to assume Doc thought... I'm going to pause it there. Uh, he's making excuses for the failures of the Clippers. Now, before the pandemic started, the Lakers were also taking off. And I believe the Lakers had also beaten the Clippers as well as the Milwaukee Bucks, the two best team and the, the two teams that were supposed to to challenge the Lakers. So once again, this guy's making excuses. He's been picking the Clippers all year and he's been wrong. They'll be wrong again next year. Let's keep listening. 
he had fixed those issues. Then they go to the Bible, <clears throat> and what did our man Jared Dudley, my friend Jared Dudley, say the other day on a podcast? He said, those boys didn't want to be in that bubble. Well, I told you from the start, they didn't. Mm-hmm. Lou Will almost didn't go. Nobody wanted to be in the bubble. For lots of reasons, right. but it can be COVID, it can be Black Lives Matter, right. and then Montrez was in, and then he was out, and, and a bunch of the players just said Landry Shaman had issues going, staying, right. and after a while, you're, you're not unified anymore, and if you did have any lingering bitterness toward Kawhi, and especially Paul George, who talks way bigger than he plays, <laughs> okay, well then, I get it. But the point is, that yesterday, they finally did what I kept pounding the table over here to do. They, they retained and elevated Ty Lue into that job. I believe that Ty Lue... We're at no reason we need to silence our phone. Sorry way. about that, guys. We don't have silence. Everyone Put the song on silence here. So, once again, you see he's making excuses. All right, let's get back to listening here. Making excuses for the Clippers. I believe he can smooth it over because that's what he does best. Now, don't forget, at the beginning of the season, they were talking about Doc Rivers was going to be the X factor in the Clippers' superiority over the Lakers. Like I said at the beginning of the season, the Lakers are the taller, bigger team with the two best players with more talent than the Clippers. They are a better team. But the hatred for LeBron James drives these sports commentators to say insane things because they are infected with what Nick Wright calls LeBron James derangement syndrome. Let's keep going. I'm going to fast forward this just just a little bit here. I'm fast forwarding Shannon Sharp, you know. His head is on straight. I'm I'm dissecting this fool here. Let's keep going. The Lakers job too. Ty yeah, to Ty Lue before Vogel came, <clears throat> right. before they said, we'll take our second choice. I don't even know, maybe he's the third or fourth choice. Probably about fifth. He might have been fifth <laughs> choice, and now he's a champion. He's a champion. Right? And he's on every show I turn on. He's yeah. just doing a media Because stuff. the thing was, T. Lue wanted long, more years. They say, yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to stop it there, but this is just another example of the hatred of LeBron James by the media. Um. These people, they make up excuse after excuse after excuse. All of the LeBron haters have egg on their face. We're going to listen to a little bit more here. It takes nothing away from Doc. I still love Doc Rivers. Mm-hmm. I think this team needed a new voice. And remember, Doc was in. They don't need a new voice. They need new players. The Clippers need new players. Montrez Harrell, Lou Williams, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, they're mediocre. Kawhi Leonard has a nice offensive game, but his defensive game is highly overrated. His lateral movement is slow. He's not that athletic. LeBron James is stronger and faster and a better offensive player than Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard scored, what, two points in the second half against Denver in game seven? If LeBron James did that, they would never let him live it down. But this is the number one hater, Skip Bayless. Let me know what you think. Are the Clippers simply an overrated team? Raw status sports were gone. 